welcome to savvy it solutions in this video we are making concept on tables in the previous video we make on lists and link so in this video we are learning about table a change the table borders changing the um, alignments v alignments horizontal or horizontal columns column spans colors etc etc will be learned uh, okay now so in this session we are learning only tables now the table borders to specify table borders in css use the border property notice that the table in the example above has double borders this is because both the table and the th and td elements have separate borders so table th and td the border is one px and solid black line okay this is what exactly the first example for that so the second one column span table borders the border column span property sets whether the table border should be collapsed into a single border okay so the table borders color swap columns columns both this means in the previous example appear like this and the present example we make the table like this so that is the change appeared in both the things okay collapse is the one of the best option to make single line so table width and height we need to change the width and height of a table so width and height of a table are defined by the width and height properties so table width is 100% means this is the web page then the entire page will take 100% the height is 50 means this height is 50 for each th okay that is what exactly the change sir happened next horizontal alignment the text align property sets the horizontal alignment like left right or center of the content in th or td okay it means left mean this is let us say this is a cell and the text starts with here is the left alignment the text start uh, start somewhere and ends the extreme is called right and the text is in between center is called center okay here the text align left we applied okay nothing more now vertical alignment the vertical align property sets the vertical alignment like top bottom or middle of the content in th or td by default the vertical alignment of the content in a table is middle for both th or well, as well as td so here i am applying vertical alignment bottom so means let us say this is cell this is the top this is bottom in this is middle okay so that is what exactly so in the next table padding to control the space between the border and the content in a table use the padding property on td and th elements actually uh, column spanning and uh, padding padding and space self padding and self spacing is explained in table concept in html once go through it it will give more meaning so here we are giving padding of 15 px means whenever we are using td so so let us take this is the table so this is one so this space will be occurred for every 15 okay next table color so borders and the background color and text color of th elements not only th and td elements also possible okay here i am applying table td and th border 1px solid green okay th 
background color is blue and color is white means the background color is blue and the text color is white we applied here so that obviously whenever this is the table okay these so let us example this is the th tag okay this entire tag is changed the color of blue and the text is of white and the text is of white so once i will show you and this will look like this and the text is serial number name etc etc will be coming only for the property of th no other things will be changed so keep it in mind that only applying th so the changes are happened only to th not to td okay so this is what exactly we are making into it so in this section what we learn is we are learning about tables under the tables we are learning the first concept of table borders and the second is collapsed table borders next table width and height next horizontal alignment next vertical alignment followed by table padding and next table color we are changing only few things to give more beauty about the table okay so in the next video we are making for practically so what we learned in this video completely we are making practical session in the next video okay so that is what exactly i am telling you thank you